Okay, in Chinese they call this as Jurong Chani after Jurong Ji. China. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it? Is no, it? no, of course not. Okay. Is it? This is actually a type of insect uh, uh, trapper. Mm. Okay, trapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It falls under the, what they call it as the epiphytic plant. It means that okay, they will grow together. But they need the support of other plants to, grow, to get them growing. But they will not steal the nutrients from the main plant which supported them. Okay, they are very fair. Yeah. So what they do is they need to support the other plants to gain the height to go for sunlight. Okay, but they can, okay, um, get their own nutrients or generate their own nutrients. Mm. So basically, there are three, okay, insect trapper. <coughs> Excuse me. One is what we call it as the sensor trap. Mm -hmm. That is actually like the known plant, mm -hmm. where they open up like that. When the insect steps onto it, okay, activate the sensors, plump, it will close. Mm. Right. So once they close up, the more they activate, the more movement in there, the tighter they will grip. Uh -huh. Until they're motionless, then they open up, and then the insects will fall down to the ground. And then that plant will use that as a nutrient. Oh. Uh, that is what we call it as the okay, uh, this <coughs> sensor trap. The other one is actually okay gel trap. Gel mm. trap means that okay like these uh, epolia flowers where they have the flowers where they have the gel. When the insect steps onto it, okay, the gel will stick them there. Then they can can't fly off. They will die in there. Later on, when the flower okay, uh, wait off, okay, wait off, okay, the flower will drop to the ground, and then they will have the nutrients from there. Mm. Whereas this is actually okay, what we call as liquid trap. A lot of people see that okay, there's a cover on top, right? Mm. So they always thought that okay, the insects go in, then the cover will cover by itself. No, it's mm. not. That is the roof. Oh. Huh. So normally the insects will go okay to the edge of the cup. Huh? You mm. see, there's a twist in front on top there. Mm. There's a twist. Mm. Underneath, okay, they have a sugary content. Mm. So the insects will go there for the sugary content, but oh. they're very greedy. So the sweetest part is underneath, okay? Mm. So they will change the direction, okay? And then step onto the wall in there and then go for the sweeter part. But in there, okay, the top layer, they have the, uh, what they call waxy uh, surface. They're very slippery. They step onto it, oh. zoom, they will drop into the water. Mm. In there, they have gel. So it's just like a human being and you don't know how to swim. Once you drop into the uh, water, water, you tend to struggle. The more you struggle, the deeper you go in. Oh. So same thing as this. Okay? So, what does the roof or the cover for? It's basically, okay, you see in the center, there's a belly. You like my pot belly? Okay? <laughs> the belly. So when it rains, okay, once it rains, once, once the water reaches the level, the cup will tilt. So once the cup tilt, okay, the roof will cover the water from, oh, prevent the water from going in. Hmm. If let's say the water will go in without a cup, okay, it will just break off. Hey. Uh, so this is very 